What's up? Welcome back to the channel. I am Rev Minister, and today we are here at Anzen Kawasaki because today is the day when the 2020 Kawasaki Ninja ZX6R will be unveiled. So I am really excited because this is a completely new breed of bike. It is a 600cc Super Sport inline four. So it is something very different. It is something which we don't see regularly in India. So let's get inside and check out the bike. So the launch is done and we have the on new Ninja ZX6R with us over here. So let me start with the designing of this bike. The design is really really sharp. It is a proper thoroughbred so race bike. The design is the design is completely like a super sport. So in front if, if I have to show you it uh, looks something similar to the Ninja 400. We have the Ram air intake over here and we have these dual uh, headlamps up front. Now my favorite part about this is this part if you can see. Um, I don't know if, how clear is this on the camera but these are some uh, projections up front which look really good. They look uh, like the aero blades which we see on the MotoGP bikes which is a really good, uh, which is a really good touch on this bike. And as usual, Kawasaki, all Kawasaki bikes look really amazing in the KRT paint scheme. If you just come around over here, we have these proper race clip-ons over here, which are which uh, hold up the Showa uh, fully adjustable forks. I will come back to that later on. So behind them, it is this huge tank over here, which provides some amazing grip when you are sitting on it. I sat on the bike and it was a really, really amazing feeling. So the tank provides some good grip for your uh, good grips for your leg. The overall seating posture definitely is very aggressive as it's a super sport. Behind we have the ZX6R branding over here, and if we just come down over here, the ZX6R gets the Battle Axe, uh, the Bridgestone Battle Axe S22 tires, which are which are recently launched, and I think this is the first bike to get those. So uh, we don't know about the, we don't have a review of these tires yet, but. These are supposed to be some really good tires. We have a chrome exhaust over here, something that is seen on the ZX10R before. Something similar actually, not exactly. We have these sticky foot pegs over here and we have the inline 4 heart sitting over there. So the overall design of the bike is very sharp and very aggressive. So on the design part, this bike definitely gets a 10 on 10. But uh, let's check out what is there inside. So on the mechanical part, this bike gets an inline 4 636cc engine which puts out 130 horsepower which is like really cool. Uh, just to give you an example, uh, sorry just to give you a comparison, the Z900 which is over there uh, puts out 121 horsepower which is 9 horsepower less than this bike. So for a 600cc 130 horsepower is really really good. Also it puts out 70 Newton meters of torque which is uh, mainly uh, focused on the mid range and the top end but that only time will tell whether uh, whether it is really punchy or is it something slow like a proper uh, super sport well that was the that was actually the mechanical part up front let's talk about the braking now so the braking is handled by a 310 mm uh, disc uh, dual discs up front and a 210 mm disc at the rear well actually i was expecting brembos but um, we don't get brembos over here we get uh, uh, we get nissan calipers up front and just above the brakes we have the show off folks so this gets fully adjustable show off folks up front and a monoshock at the rear so the riding experience the overall damping of the bike is going to be really really good as showa is here in the picture and i think that's oh yeah mainly the icing on the cake is 
that this bike gets a quick shifter, a freaking quick shifter as standard. So you can just imagine Kawas what what Kawasaki has thought while making this bike. This is a completely thoroughbred super bike, a super sport. So if you are planning to take this bike on a track, then you are gonna have a hell lot of fun, my man. And also on the electronic section, yes, it does get a lot of electronical aids. So you get two levels of power mode, three levels of traction control, and ABS as standard. So yeah, the bike is really, really well made. Uh, Kawasaki has put in a lot of thought while making this bike and well if I have to tell you the downsides of the bike well then the bike weighs around 200 kgs which uh, is a lot for a 600cc but that again only time will tell whether the weight is actually which actually interferes into the riding or is it just on paper so yeah the bike is the bike the pricing of the bike starts from 12 lakh 80 thousand on road mumbai which is a really really good deal for this bike and but let's not forget this bike is this price is introductory so if you want to own this bike at this price then you have to head to your nearest kawasaki showroom and make this bike yours it's a guys it's a limited period offer so make sure you rush to your nearest showroom also, not just that, it also gets a slew of uh, accessories, like we have steering dampeners, we have this cowl over here, uh, which is added on this bike. So yeah, the overall bike is really good. I don't know what to say, man. I'm out of words. I'm forgetting words. This bike is just so cool. So that's all for the first impressions of the Kawasaki Ninja ZX6R. I'll be back with the, uh, the riding video once the demo bike is here. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel for some amazing automotive content. Now if you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. I have been Rev Minister. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, bye.